65 pounds. It'll be Dejan Cheese Casto for the Citadel and John Hoover for VMI. Casto, a sophomore from Pennsylvania, wrestled his senior year here in South Carolina at Fort Dorchester, and Hoover, a freshman from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Nice high crotch from Cheese there. Straight to a double finish, elevates. Perfect. Casto with a 2 nothing lead. He's unranked in the coaches panel, but currently number 26 in the RPI, the only ranked Bulldog. Riding tough here, doing a good job of keeping weight forward. Casto is 21 and 11 this year. Won 27 matches last year as a true freshman. Placed third at the SoCon Championships. Would love to pick up a win today heading into the SoCon Championships March 8th in Boone. Casto is a SoCon All-Freshman team member last year, and this year he's been terrific. Casto going with an optional start. Cut to Hoover right off the bat. Hoover in on a single-leg attempt. Ends up with Casto in a front headlock. Casto doing a good job of defending that single leg. Can't do a front headlock. Minute remaining here in the first. Casto with a two to one lead over Hoover. Casto with a double leg attempt. Only got to one leg. Hoover doing a good job of defending, but Casto back in on that leg after a second attempt. Gonna want to pull him into the center here. And watch out for his own ankles. But doing a good job whipping the leg by and finishing that takedown. Picasso gets the two. He leads four to one. Casto six and three in duels this year for the Bulldogs. Lost his last one to Andrew Nicholson of Chattanooga. A tough six five decision. But he'll go into the second with a 4-1 to lead. And he defers. Hoover will choose down. Hoover's looking for his first SoCon duel win this year. He dropped his last three duel match excuse me, matches to wrestlers from Campbell, Gardner-Webb, and Bloomsburg. Bloomsburg, a non-conference duel. His last win came at the All-Academies... On January 25th. Casto doing a good job here. Really stretching out Hoover. Hooking that near ankle and post on an elbow. Really trying to get Hoover long and put him on a hip. Looking for it again there. Really hanging on that ankle there, trying to keep Hoover extended. Those are a little bit different than most guys. Most guys will put weight forward to try and extend their opponent. Cheese here is hooking and dragging the ankle back. Gives the escape away, but 
right away takes the action out of bounds and forces a stall call against Hoover. Single leg attempt from Hoover in deep here on both knees but looking to finish. Casto keeping weight in with his hips. Trying again to flatten out Hoover. Stalemate called. So they'll reset with 27 sec seconds remaining here in the second. Casto leads by two. Casto on a deep double leg, able to finish with just three seconds left in the period. That's a big takedown there. I know that with Casto being one of the Citadel's better wrestlers, Coach Cleveland is definitely looking for him to score some bonus points. So pushing the pace is essential here for Casto. Hoover in on a single leg again. Casto in the far crotch, looking to sit the corner. Still working to sit the corner in the far crotch. Putting a lot of weight down on Hoover's head with that calf, hoping to free his foot up. No takedown. One minute left here in this third period. Casto still up by four. If he's going to want to secure that major, he needs to rely a little bit more on motion and not get tied up. Every time he's getting tied up here, he's not seeing much offense. Deep on a single here, looking to take it above his head. No takedown yet. There it is. There it is, the two. So an 8-2 to two lead, approaching almost three minutes of riding time. Coach Cleveland calling for Cheese to cut Hoover here, and he does. One-point escape there, scored at the edge. And one more takedown. He'll have the major. And with 20 seconds, going to need a lot of action out of Cheese if he wants to secure this major. Five-point lead on the board, but... Plus the riding time. With that riding time, yep. Nice sprawl straight to a double leg for Casto. Hoover in on the crotch and no takedown is scored. Hoover did a good job there. We're going to have a challenge. Definitely a challenge there. Close call. Casto with a nice double. So a point on the line here. Casto's going to get the win regardless. Will it be by decision or by major decision? And this just goes to show how important those bonus points are. Coach Cleveland and Coach Yerling are, are very aware of it, and that's why they're willing to sacrifice this challenge here to get an extra team point. Currently a 13-6 Citadel lead over VMI. They have points coming. Will it be three? Will it be four? Let's take another look. If we can. Here you see a shot attempt from Hoover. Casto does a good job of defending and getting in on his own shot. Both legs are secured, and Casto's head is out on the side there, but Hoover locked in the crotch there. I believe that was the right call, but a tough for, decision. For no takedown. 
for no takedown, yeah. But a tough decision for a coach to just let that go with as close as it was. So, Although I do think the call will stand, I don't, uh, I don't think it was a bad call for the challenge there. So, so the call stands. The Bulldogs put three more on the board. We're going to go to break. You're watching SoCon Wrestling.